Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great, wonderful day. Had a great, wonderful day. Got me a sweet, sweet deal on these IBC totes. They're about, I think, a 300 gallon. They're kind of the tall, little taller ones. And I think some of the other ones I've got that are shorter. They yeah, were, this is bigger. Yeah, they're, they're, they're taller, which is kind of a good thing of what I was kind of wanting to use it for. And these had the color dye for like molt when you, you get colored molt. So it's like a non toxic ish stuff. It's, so it wasn't, food, it's food grade. Yeah. It wasn't a heavy chemical, which in case I want to do use it for anything, I'm trying to stay away from it. I would suggest too. I mean, you can kind of power wash them out and stuff, but if it had a heavy chemical, my only concern would be has it really kind of soaked into the plastic and if plastic gets heated up, does it kind of. Leach release out. out some of that old chemical that was in there that'd be bad and I just don't want to do that I picked up like 10 of these because I got one just super super deal I think I thought I got a super deal the last time I bought some toads right? from a barbecue place or whatever had barbecue sauce in them or something I got those for 20 bucks a piece and I thought man that was a good deal I got these for ten dollars a piece i was like oh yeah gotta pick up some so yeah i took my 16 foot trailer and picked up a trailer load. now before anyone's like well you know you do have the chemicals in there and you can wash them out and it takes some work to power wash them we're not going to use this plastic on our most project, likely not on our project today may may not i may still use some of it Ten dollars for the cage is still good. But getting a cage for ten dollars, and that's what I want it for, is the cage part mainly because today I'm going to bring along showing how to make or transform this thing into a hay rack. I think it's a great idea. I think it's going to work out great, mainly for when we get like our goats and stuff, because it'd be kind of small enough, and for ten bucks. Just a little bit of work to it to make it great, be a great size for a few goats, and I'll have the ability to probably hang it so then I don't have to worry about goats jumping up into a hay rack. And if you ever have goats, you know that they they're do. gonna they're gonna climb into it and poop and pee, and you know they they don't care. But if it swings, they're less likely to jump, jump up in into it. Into it, so that's but that's idea. a future video. We've done a number of things with these. We've actually made goat houses out of we, yep. ones before. I can leave a link below in the description to our blog, which gives a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that, actually. We, we used one, you know, we used the cage to use it as a, as a carrier for picking up small animals to just throw on the back of your truck. Yep. But there's, there's so many things you can do, and if you can find them for, like I said, dirt cheap prices like that, pick you up a few because, you know, the possibilities of using these things are pretty much endless. Oh, yeah, even the plastic, even, even if it is a chemical, um, if you have things you want to use it for, say, you're just going to take the plastic and use it for a skid yeah, or to make a sled to pull stuff with, it works so works well. Great for that, too. We've got one that I... I Cut the bottom and stuff out of it so that I can throw stuff into it as a skid. I've got a rope attached to it that I attach to the back of the riding lawnmower. I can fill that thing up and just drag it across the property, you know. Works and great. It works great because it's all got the curved edges, so. But we are just going into way too much. We are. We're much. rambling. We so want if you got any more questions or comments on some ideas that you use them for, let us know for sure. Yes, we or, would love ideas. We have 10 of these. So. Or, or questions on what we've done with them, just leave all those down below. We'd love to hear from all of y'all about today, it. Yeah, today, though, we're going to make a hay rack. So, so, let's get going. All right. Well, the first thing we've got to do, it's kind of a big size little star bit. Uh, it'll normally come standard, I think, in some of your old value pack bit pieces you pick up. You've got these you've got these these bolts there's there's four of them two on each side that hold these supports across you know that keep the cage together when you've got you know a big old tote full of, of liquid because that weighs a lot 
The other thing great that I liked when I got these too, it's got a plastic bottom. A lot of them sometimes still have metal frame. This will work great for us here because I'm planning on making this hay rack for Steve. And that can just sit straight on the ground. I don't have to worry about the rock because it's actually on some plastic. So you get lucky and find them like that too for putting them on the ground use. The plastic I think would be a lot better to hit on the ground instead of rusting out. Okay, so like I said, just four of those come right out, slide the bar out, and you know, you can keep these, use these bars for something else because you know the threading is inside the end, the end of that bar. So you know, if you had it to go as a support bracket at this exact length, it could be handy to use for something else too. So, and get y'all's opinion. My wife says it looks okay like this. I got me a new hat, mainly for being out in the sun because my ears, with my regular baseball cap, my ears kept getting a little burned. So I got something like this to use to keep my head out of the sun, my ears out of the sun, really. So, get your opinion. What do you think of the hat? My wife says it looks great like this, but it's also got that little flip down thing to go like this. And I think my kids said that they liked it better like this. So, let me know. I don't know. I like it better. It seems to work though, but it keeps, like I said, keeps the sun off my ears either way, better than my baseball cap. We've already had a bad skin, skin cancer care once and so if if you work outside a lot please wear sunscreen yeah. wear a hat well now you gotta wear certain types of sunscreen you don't want it with well, something's in there it's kind of cancer forming now according to the news oh. but now just flip it over and get this bad boy out All right, so just flip it over, and you can just pull. Oh, the handle. Oh, that's right. You got the valve. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Go for it. Make sure you close the valve with the whole one on it. And just pull that little bad boy out. Easy peasy. Get these little things. protect the corners, probably could be used for something, I don't know. Some of these totes that you'll get, they'll have these metal things on the side. I could probably leave it on, it's not going to get in my way. I'm just going to take it off because it's got a little piece of galvanized metal, I guess. You can use it for something, I guess, also. Um, I'm just not going to have it on there just to have it. And it's just got, normally got like some little crimp pieces and stuff on here. Like this one's got a little riveted through. Pretty sure I can just bust that apart. And it's a decent sized little piece that you can use for something. I'm pretty sure I'll think of something. But if y'all know of something you can use about, I don't know, 18 to... 24. Wide. Let me know. Okay. Oh, now, all right. So I'm gonna make it like long ways. So I'm gonna end up cutting off the edges here and just press this in to make like a V in the middle. What I'm looking at here is now. Do I want to take it all the way to the bottom, or do I want to leave that? I would leave the as like a catch to maybe uh -huh. hopefully catch some of the haze as it comes out. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the bottom row down here, and then we'll bend and fold in that area so it's got more of a catch for the hay. I agree. So I'm gonna leave the very bottom row on, and then I'm gonna take out these corner pieces completely, all the way down. That way this can bend in to make the V, and I won't have to worry about these pieces being in the way. And I've just got a little metal blade on my reciprocating saw to do this for it. All right. And 
I'm just going to cut it right along the edge of where it, it meets up at. And I'm going to leave this bottom one because I'm going to leave that as a deal. So cutting all these off and then cutting them off here at these edges too. We'll cut all those little curves, like the corners basically out, and cut all the way down to the bottom. I kind of, you know, cut kind of down at an angle uh, so that I can kind of probably take the grinder a little bit, grind off all those little edges right there because, you know, they are going to be sort of sharp edges. Well, you know, the little pieces of metal, they're, you know, from cutting. Uh, you're going to deburr, deburr, deburr it. Yeah, yeah, deburr it, I guess you'd say. Voila! Okay, so, got corners cut off, bottom already cut off, and this is, you know, semi-welded up here, so I'm hoping it's going to hold well. I'm thinking if I just kind of kick it out like this a little bit, it'll bend. Ta-da! They're, they're holding pretty good. <clears throat> I wouldn't say do it real fast, I'd say do it a little slow. Kind of bend that in. Maybe I can get my lovely assistant to go on that side and bend at the same time so we can kind of see how they're going to go together here in the middle. Okay, I think the next time, I make my next one, I think I'm going to cut the bars off on the one side that's the side that's not the haze going to be like in the in the V part. I may leave it there because, I mean, it's pretty sturdy-ish this way. I mean, it's not supposed to be too bad but then you got this whole gap right here so you could no maybe than, no more than this gap though that's true too i mean so you could maybe leave these little just cut them off one side leave the little curved parts of the corners and you could just kind of pry them open in a little bit that way if you needed to too if you wanted to you could probably take some of those curved parts and reattach them to the sides if you wanted it to be even sturdier i mean it's I mean, it's not bad. I think it'll work. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right, here's a couple of ideas that I'm fondling with here. We could either bring it into about right there, put me a board in the middle, drill through, and put me some screws or something through this one side into the board. Only problem with the board part is, Eventually it would rot, and these would pull apart, screws would come right out of it, probably won't do very well. Um, you could probably try to wire them together right there if you wanted to. Drill you a couple holes through, use a bolt through each side, you know, a bolt, you know, hole through each bottom part with a bolt going through it. But Shauna came up with an idea of kind of crisscrossing them a little bit, and then in this point down here, all we got to do is maybe stick us a little piece of, I'm almost going to go look to see about a piece of scrap PVC I've got to put it right there in the middle to see if it'll just stay and I can maybe attach into the PV, piece of PVC. Okay, we have gone through quite a few ideas. I think the idea Shauna came up with was crossing them, put us a board in between. We could maybe drill into it. It's gonna work. I think what I'm gonna end up doing right now is I'm just gonna drill me some holes through the bottom. So I would suggest before you cut these off the bottom, drill your holes at the base, then cut it off so it'll be sturdier to drill through. So I'll, I'm drilling me a hole and I'll drill a hole on the other side, just put a piece of wire together and tie it together. So I've kind of flipped it up on its side and through my holes on one piece of wire. Maybe. Put another piece of wire through. Like 
So, twist it there to hold. kind of bend up what you twisted and clipped off so it's not poking down. That way it's not sticking down so hopefully less chances for someone poking an eye out. Voila! I think it looks pretty good. I'm still coming up with some Creative ideas for a like, roof on it. Because right now I need to put this under cover. Because I'm going to put it out there and all the hay get wet. But I've got some ideas going in my head. I just, in my head, they're not coming out quite right like I want them to. So, alright. Let's get this moved down to Steve. Throw some hay in it. And see if he gives us a thumbs up. I'm hoping he does. Okay, I think Steve's already getting anxious. He must already probably like his new heapy. So he's trying to push the gate open. But it looks like it'll catch pretty good as it falls through. He should be able to eat to it pretty well. Goats will probably be able to do it better, so it may not work out as well for Steve, but I'm pretty sure goats and sheep, it'd work out a lot better. Agreed. So. I'm gonna get the tractor with the forks. Pick it up since it's putting a bunch of hay. Here he goes. Yep. I guess he's telling us it's time to get it over there. every day but as long as we have the chickens sharing space with hay eaters like Steve we're just gonna have to fill it because the chickens we put a hay bale in there and they are just destroying it with scratching it up and laying eggs in it and so we think this is just gonna work out as a much better option thumbs up? I think so since he started eating on it right away. Really he acts like he's starving. I promise you he's not. He yeah. is just a piggy big boy. He, he really is. You throw anything after this guy and he just he just eats it up. He still has hay in his covered area but this is fresh hay. It's special. But apparently he's he don't want he don't want people to watch him eat. Uh, eat watch me eat off. I don't know. Hopefully, I got to show you something that I thought turned out pretty good. If you got any other comments, you know, please leave them down below to let us know if something could have been done better or 
if you had another thought that I didn't think of. Or any questions you have, of course. So, all right, guys. Y'all have a great and safe one out there. Y'all be careful. Can't wait to see y'all till next time. Later.